And welcome back to the Brutal Star on Mimus with me, 54 Bear, aka the Complete Idiot. Okay, so this is our little survival platform. We have all four printers. Whoopie doo. Uh, I wanted the uh, tool printer because I did need to get some additional mining storage. So I actually printed up the uh, mining backpack gives you a lot of space and to uh, prevent you from being too bored I went out and did some mining filling the whole thing up so I don't really know why I picked up the cobalt I think I was drilling through it to get to the nickel uh, at least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it so I've got uh, a lot of ores to smelt I do need to do some more smelting the good news is our dirty fuel, or mismatched fuel as it is, is working reasonably well. I do have uh, a bunch of it in here, although it did strike me uh, a little strange that I actually bothered putting it in an insulated tank. I really don't know why I did that. Force of habit, I think. Um, but anyway, so we're looking at something that's not too far removed from an ideal mixture. It's certainly good enough to work. I don't think it's affecting the output, like the power output of the um, uh, portable generator. But it is, um, well, it, it's working. We also have uh, a bit of oxygen. So that's good. Pumping from here. Actually, I can close that off. Um, but it's time for me to get serious about fuel production. Uh, not only to keep this thing running, and potentially also to run a, a gas fuel generator, but I need water. Um, this is all the stuff I have. I have four water bottles in here, and I think... That one's at nine percent. That one's at a hundred, and all the rest are empty. So I am really running into uh, problems there. So I've printed up a couple of atmospherics. One will be for um, the H2 combustor. That's going to basically take this fuel, albeit not ideal, and we'll output the uh, hot gas into a an insulated tank. I mean, that one will need to be insulated. So let me see if I can actually get one of those done. So steel and silicon. Steel. All right, how many can I print? Oh, I need more silicon. All right, so that would give me two. I'll just do the one, though. Right, why was I getting oxygen low warning? Oxygen critical. Okay, let's have a look. Air tank critical. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, nitrogen filter. Oh, where did that go? Oh, there it is. All right, let's get another nitrogen filter. Uh, needs more iron. I think for future, let's see, oh, that has nitrogen in it as well. Yeah, so for the foreseeable future, we are going to have this issue. Well, that should be okay. Right, so two dead filters. Let's just lob them over there so they don't get confused with ones that I can use. Right, so hot fuel tank or hot waste tank. Well, we could always build up, couldn't we? Just to be silly, uh, I thought I had another frame laying around. Uh, 
Oh, sure I did. Ah, there it is. Let's be silly about it. Okay, so that's going to be our uh, hot waste. So, well, get that out of the way. Right, so I want a combustor. I think we'll just do it. I'll do it like that so it'll give me room to put on a pump because that is something that might be useful. Okay. Now this one can be straight. Okay. But the other ones I'm going to want insulated. Insulated pipe. Well, I can make lots of those. I don't want too many. Uh, I will. Need more cable. Oh force of habit Ho. So, do I have any copper in there? No. No. A little. Yeah. yeah I think I'll let that print the whole lot. Because I will need a bunch more, so I'll run the the power down here to this line. Of course, I have a can of paint now. There's no reason why I shouldn't paint my tools. So this should give me some hot steam into there. And we can verify that. Yeah, of course there's likely to be, because the uh, fuel mix is a bit volatile rich, I expect the exhaust to be a little bit fuel rich as well. But what I'm going to do is use the other uh, atmospherics unit to filter out the water. Um, we're still away from being able to have the the sterling, but uh, yeah, we really need the water before anything else. So a lot of the heat energy in this is going to end up being wasted. Um, don't really have much of a choice at this stage. Right, I'm just going to flatten this area out. As I'm not placing wires and uh, pipes underground. Right, that'll do. 
Now I do need to get some more frames. Um, I do have steel, so I might start transitioning to steel frames and sheets rather than iron. It is more efficient, uh, provided you have... Oh. Have I? Okay, we are out. Swap them over. Put it down. And paint it. Actually, let's do the same with this one as well. Okay, so that's running tickety boo. I will swap this one with that one, leave that one there so it's easily visible. Right, what was I doing? Right, yes, let's monitor the uh, water production. Okay, so we have a whole 1.4 moles of water and 92 moles of uh, steam. So altogether that would make maybe three litres of water. Um, but we need a lot more. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, that should be okay. Yeah, don't think I'll need to add any more um, to it just yet. I want no room to store all that. So let's get some steel in here and get some frames done. The main reason for doing this is I don't actually have much uh, iron at the moment. I mean, I've got plenty to smelt. over there as well. And I do need to get a greenhouse started. Although the food supply we have will last for a while. So not a huge issue. But what I was going to do is just do uh, probably a 3x3 three three out here. Just to get some um, food production started. I mean, I can't produce any food without the water. Uh, but I do need to get the, the room built, sealed, airlocked and... Uh, you know, preferably warmed up. All right, so another three or four, I think. Actually, I need to go another row. Because I need room for an airlock. Incidentally, I'm not using the flattening method. I just have spent so long doing this, I can flatten it without setting the drill to flatten. But if you find yourself creating holes in the ground, right click on that, click set flatten, and then it will prevent you from drilling holes. But uh, once you've played the game for a while and uh, played around with the drills, you find that you probably won't need the flatten mode. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get some sheets done.
All right, so three by three for the thing, and then one for an airlock. We should be okay. Right, the airlock, then we'll do here. Now you could conceivably leave this middle one as unwelded. And because all of the surrounding ones on the outside are welded, uh, it would still re retain its airlock uh, and stuff, but I prefer to weld everything. And one of the adva advantages of uh, steel frames is you can see that they're welded uh, straight away. Right, let's see, one, two, three. All right, that's probably enough. These ones just get a single. Okay. Oh, all right, I need one couple more. Because it only uses half a steel, you want to make certain you you print them in multiples of two. Okay. So we will need a bunch of walls. So three, six, nine, eighteen, twenty. Um, now I could do composite walls, but that's going to eat into my silicon supply. And how much silicon do I have? Not a lot, but I do have some that I can smelt. Right, I'm okay for steel at the moment. Uh, where are we? There we are. So this stuff, I think I'm just going to smelt everything, except for the uh, nickel and the cobalt, obviously, because that you can't do anything with. So all of the iron, copper, and silicon, I think, will get smelted, so why don't I take care of that? Let's uh, have a look at our supply. So 200, what's that, 50 moles to a litre, so 5 litres. Okay. Right, think, how am I going to do this? Uh, so the plastic sheets are quite expensive. Oh, no, actually, no, they're not. All right, so yeah, composite walls it is. Uh, wall, or kit wall. Yeah, because that's the one that gives us the windows. Oh, it's the glass that's expensive, but I'd need that anyway. So, so three, six, nine, ten, eleven, plus another nine is twenty. 21, 22, 23. Yeah, so I'm going to need 23 walls. And I'm also going to need 23 glass. 
but we should be okay. All right, let's get this thing going. Uh, right, so we will give it how much uh, lower tiles? I think 16 of those and 8 of those. Make certain that's closed. Then click 8 times, click once. We're in business. Right. And all this is just actually, I'll do the silicon first. I could put some shoots on so I could automatically fill it. Right, let's do the iron next. We're doing temperature. Actually, we're okay. I'll just make some bigger ingots. For this stuff. And do a hundred. And twenty eight. And do the copper individually because I don't have that much. And now just the gold. Okay, well, that'll be too many. Thirty. Okay, so again, outward facing windows. This greenhouse is probably not going to work because it's facing the wrong way. It's supposed to be looking at the planet. Okay, so I'll just do regular uh, yeah, well, again. I want them facing outwards. That way, the uh, wiring is on the inside, and it's easy for me to fix from the inside. Okay, so seven too many, gonna want two doors, uh, iron and copper. All right, so you're gonna want two of those. So we're going to want an active vent, gold and copper. Just the one. All right. Uh, we'll probably do it the 
this way around, I think. Oh dear. I keep doing it. I keep forgetting to turn this damn thing off. That's what killed my last game. Right, uh, plastic sheets. Uh, how many am I going to need? Oh, just print all of those. That will give me 30. And then the rest can go on glass. Actually, 16. No, that won't be enough. So all of those done. Yeah. I'm going to want a passive vent. So that's all the walls done. Right, so I need another four for in here. Plus two for the uh, doors. Well, I'm going to need those passive vents anyway. I just didn't really want to print them up right now. Sanity check. Okay, throw it on the ground. It can't possibly get damaged. Hydration critical. All right, now we do have some solder, so that means I can print another power controller. Just need a little iron. Right, so that'll give me the option or the ability to have, um, you know, be able to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I will be able to put a battery in there to power the airlock should it lose power from out here. Power low. Yeah, yeah, 
Right, I can afford to let the thirst go down a little bit more. Uh, right, so only one pipe. So we will need some more. To be honest, I'm already hating the position of this. It's too close to these machines. No. Oh, what the hell. Alright. Power. Oh, of course, because I haven't put the glass in. Silly me. It's going mad thinking, had I put the doors in back to front or something? All right. Uh, power. All right, I'm just going to go with um, manual airlock to begin with. Actually, We'll do, no, we won't do it like that. We'll do it like that. Okay, now I just need to get power to it. Which I can do down there. And I need more cable. Let's check on our water. And that cable really went flying. Alright. So we will go... You'll grab one of the oh, a small battery for in here turn that on uh, yeah we're okay so I've got a good amount of waste tank uh, waste gas I can use I have a load of oxide so I should be able to get this uh, pressurized and begin the process of warming it up so, why don't we do that now? I don't know how um, spread out it'll get in there, so I will actually do this using the airlock. So, So I open that, we're at 13. Caution. Drop that. 
drop a 50. Start depressurizing. I think this will give us enough. So 37 kPa, let's double it. All right, so this should, this will get it up to an okay temperature. Uh, it will warm up a little, I think, on its own. There. Yeah, we'll just leave that as is. Put in the airlock. Right. So I shouldn't have to do anything in there for uh, a good while. Right, let's put that in there. Now we're okay. Temperature wise, let's go take care of this annoying alarm. Okay, that'll do. Uh, where's my bottle with partial? 9%. Nothing. Alright, so water bottle. I got four unopened. to suck and we're okay all right so that gives us what will become a greenhouse this will be our main source of breathing oxygen and ultimately we will probably expand it uh, to become in the end self-sufficient that's the idea so we've got our water production started still need to cool it down I and mean, obviously it's at uh, 1850 degrees or thereabouts we've got 600 moles of steam um, that's going to produce about 10 liters of water that will be enough to get us watered and probably enough to start some hydroponics i don't know whether i'm going to go with proper trays right out of the way right at the beginning or whether i'm going to print up the portable hydroponics that's useful because uh it's just basically so easy anyway that's going to follow on uh next time thanks for watching like subscribe all that good stuff leave any questions you have in the comments and i will do my level best to get back to you Thanks for watching. 54 Bear out.